Malta's system is designed to compete with the cost of U.S. natural gas. At scale, Malta's technology will be at or below the price of U.S. natural gas. Malta's technology works by taking electric energy and converting it to thermal energy. The way that Malta's system does that is by taking well-known and well-understood components, that is, a heat pump on the charge side, a heat engine on the generation side, putting thermal energy storage in the middle in the form of molten salt on the hot side and a commodity antifreeze fluid on the cold side and integrating those systems. And when you integrate all those different parts, what you get is low cost, long duration, grid scale energy storage. Malta's system stores energy for anywhere from eight to 168 hours. Call it a day to a week. Malta's system loses power very slowly. It loses about a degree a day. And since our hot store is at around 565 degrees, that's a lot of days that we can sit in a state of charge. So when you think about both these dimensions, both in terms of how Malta can sit in a state of charge, and then also the amount of time that it can generate once it is called into service, these are extremely valuable characteristics for the future grid of tomorrow. Long-term storage technologies will be essential in the coming decades as the demand for renewable electricity increases, and it will increase by quite a lot.